Welcome home, everyone. Wookie Legend here. Today, uh, we're doing the <clears throat> Stealth Destroyer for the Japanese, the Minikaze. A nice little how-to video. Uh, there are actually two destroyers for the Japanese at Tier 5, uh, the Mitsuki and the Minikaze. There's slight little differences, and then they go down the line. Just just a little bit different. Uh, the Minikaze is on the gunboat line, and then the Mitsuki is on the Stealth Torp line. Uh, even though the Mitsuki has a faster reload by half of the Minikaze. Other than that, virtually the guns are the same. The Torps are technically the same. I believe the damage is a little bit different. Um, and also the Minikaze's range is at 7 kilometers at uh, 10.8. The Mitsuki is at 8 kilometers, a little bit faster also, at 14. So this one does up more damage. And uh, 73 seconds, as opposed to the Minikaze's 37 seconds. So, uh, this is more lethal technically, but you're doing less damage quicker than the Mitsuki. Even though the Mitsuki has the better guns. It's kind of funny. A lot of players probably won't understand, but they do play a little bit different. Uh, I will be playing them the exact same way, but regardless, we're doing the Minikaze today. Uh, we have a 12-point captain. Uh, oh, we don't have this. Let's quickly grab that. Uh, always get preventive maintenance. Uh, last stand, if you could. Uh, survivability expert and then concealment for your first 10. Now I've been playing for a while, so for me, I went with more of a torp layout because uh, you want to maximize on the potential of this boat which is its torps that doesn't mean don't use your guns please use your guns uh, they're just a little bit slower 10 second reload make sure you make two shots um, other than that equipment I'm gonna go equipment upgrade everything starting with hull um, the hull first and then from there uh, let's see what do we have uh, we have speed, which is fine. The smoke is a little bit longer. Great. We have more flooding. Make sure we don't detonate. Yeah, we're good to go. Boat's good to go. And uh, our concealment's 5.4. Always keep track of that. Because uh, that's going to be um, you surviving or not surviving at that point. You're going to be... Unless there's a destroyer that's the same as you, and um, you're going to outspot everything. I'm going to have a video on this now, obviously, and then my next video is going to be on the Mitsuki, and I'll show you guys um, pretty much how to play it. We are bottom tier here against sevens, but there's no there's no CV, so we don't have to worry about getting spotted. We can outspot the Jaguar, we can outspot the Gallant, we can outspot the Zed, we can outspot the Sims. We're good to go. There's no radar. Not a problem. All right. I'm very bright for some reason. So, ideally, I wouldn't recommend going to A, but you can go to A just to hold it. We have no choice. This is where we spawn. This is where we're going. Now, we're going to get B. Uh, well, if the Jaguar goes there, he's going to go there way before us. Uh, reminder click on here, turn these on so you don't have to remember these values. They do help a lot, especially to 5.4. Uh, I think by default, it's on. But turn on the rest too, just so you kind of have an understanding of uh, what's going on. Also, these two and these two, ideally, you want them on. And now, uh, we know he's coming. Perfect. There are torps already ready. My hand's coming. Great. Well, Fiji, wonderful. And maybe the repulse? We're lucky. I believe also the Gajamata might be coming this way eventually. So, we want to cap. We want a spot, we want a torp. If we have to, we have our guns, we have our smoke to disengage. When I say disengage, I mean pop the smoke, set it up, don't sit in it, because it's a torp magnet. What you want to do is literally disengage, especially if you don't have islands around to disengage from the enemy. Um, all, all four of these guys can outgun us. Uh, easily outgun us. So, what we want to do is... Uh, not get, not get into a gunfight, but we want a torp. So we're going to preemptively torp spots where we think they're always going to come in through here and through here. We have a quick reload. So what's going to happen is we're just going to set up like this. Never set up broadside. 
You never know where the torps are going to come from. There he is right there. I don't want to pop smoke yet. Maybe he can not push into me. Will. And there he goes. Now, we don't know where he is. We only guess. Bottom here quickly. Again. Again. Okay, he fired. Kinda know where he is. We know where he's gonna sh shoot uh it's torps. Now we preemptively shot torps. Those preemptive torps are looking really good. So are they gonna hit? Who knows? But he's out of the cap. That means the cap is ours now. If he wants to slow down, he can deal with our torps. We're still gonna keep shooting him only. What we need, only him. Now you notice I'm sitting in smoke. I know he's not here anymore. But I also know he could have shot Torps. There could also be another DD. So I'm I'm trying to angle in a way where if Torps are coming, I could just go. I could just leave. No problem. Now this Mahan, if he didn't do that, uh, he could have been spotting for us. But you know, sometimes you have to give up on the spotting. Just unfortunate. He wanted to smoke up in gunboat. He didn't have to. He could have just waited, saved the smoke. Would have been beneficial to us if he did. We're gonna go widespread. No, I'm not gonna go widespread. London seems like he's gonna just wholesale straight. Yeah, he is. Never sail straight. And with the cruiser, never head towards the cap. You're, you're not going to cap. You, you think you're going to beat the DD, but I, I know better. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave. Don't fire your guns. Just leave. Yeah, I missed my torps. Okay. Comes the next set. Those are the Jaguar torps. I'm going to widespread. Cover a little bit more ground. Ideally, most people will tell you, go don't go widespread ever. But what I need to do here is I need to control the area. So by controlling the area, we need to cover the most area. Oh, can't do that with not widespread. So I'm gonna take my team. Jaguar is probably gonna come back through here. We want him spotted so that our team can kill him. This guy's still in smoke. Not much of a team player there, but we gotta do what we gotta do. We, we, we work with what we got. That's the, I believe, London. That's fine. So I'm still gonna do what I need to do, and that is spotting. We can torp, great. If we can't, that's okay too. I know there's an Agato right there. He might be just around the corner. Concentrate fire on that target. Do I have to have smoke again? Koenig is gone. Perfect. I am gonna go to that side of the camp though, because I need to know. Yeah. I need to know if he's gonna be here or if he's going wide or what he's doing. There's the Gallant. I'm gonna have my guns ready. Gonna fire at me. There's some damage. That's fine. What needs to happen now is I need to back up and leave that way. Not go forward. Because then I'll get exposed again. So even though he probably shot his torps, I gotta do this as fast as possible. It's all about timing. But you never know. He could have shot torps early. There they are. So I just need to go forward. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Also, hopefully, he knows that those are torps from him. I have to reload again. It's fine. He's backing up. I don't have to worry about him. Let's go widespread again. Now we know the guy's in the cap. Because the, hat, the cap is at a diamond. Now, again, this could also be the Jaguar. That's why we need the Mahan to come help. Right, so we're going to say F5 to him. That's a bit of a gap here with the widespread, but... It's all chance anyway. Uh, there's an RNG effect and dispersion effect for torpedoes as well. Not just guns. Now, I'm going to actually leave this area because I don't want to get torped. 
See my smoke's also down there. I'm gonna switch spots with this guy. I'm gonna go this way now and uh, deal with these guys. Out of slowing down, that's fine. He's gonna probably die here. Oh, he wasn't even in our range. That's okay. We're gonna move up. Our whole team's here, which is okay, but as long as they're firing. They're not firing, then it doesn't matter if our team's here. They're just not in a position to help. So we're pinging him with F3. We want them to shoot him. We know he's coming around the corner. Mahan just dumped all his torps. So I'm, I'm not exactly sure where the Mahan is going. He doesn't have torps to deal with this anymore. Jaguar, we got to keep an eye on. We are keeping him spotted, so... As long as we keep him spotted, he's not going to want to push in. Unless he has a death wish, of course. So we're keeping him spotted, we're keeping all the rest of them spotted. We'll see what's going to happen there. The cap is ours. From here, we're going to actually turn around. We're not chasing this guy. And we're going to head towards B. Go. Is coming in? Yes, he is. So we're going to pour up where we think he's going to go. Hopefully get one. There we go, everyone's shooting at him. Any kind of chip damage is good. We're leaving the situation. I know that we're leaving the Jaguar, but not technically, because I know he's going to stick around. The way he's been playing, it looks like he wants to stick around. So he's going to be the one controlling this situation with the Jaguar. What I'm going to do is... Oh, yeah, horrible torps. I'm going to go to cap B. And uh, deal with the Galant. Let's see what's going to happen here. Galant is probably heading towards B now. Or he's trying to deal with this Duke. The Duke has Hydro. Hopefully he has it on. Yeah, I don't know why the Mahan's chasing me now. The Mahan needed to go up towards the Jaguar that way. Our whole team is kind of unaware of the map. They're full flanking the wide part of the islands. Even though we know where the enemy team is. The new players uh, with map awareness is a little bit off, uh, mostly because they probably don't know to be a map aware. But uh, yeah, if you're not looking at the mini map and understanding what's happening, then you're gonna find yourself doing that, where they're just where are they going? There's nothing over there. They have to come back this way, but they're slow and it takes time. So it is usually interesting to see. Torps might be actually good, finally. They're spotting. They're spotting the Jaguar. I don't know where the Galant is. Torps again. None of them are gonna hit. Just too fast, that Rook. All the damage is coming in. 48,000 spotting damage. We're doing exactly what the ship is supposed to do. The least amount of gun engagement, but if we have to, we're, we have, we're ready. The rest of it's all Torps and Spotting. Torps and Spotting. <clears throat> I think the Galant's probably going for Ski. If not, we will spot him. We're putting ourselves in a position where... Um, we're by ourselves, yes. But hopefully our team... We can see that they're shooting. are backing us up. This Jaguar has been spotted the whole time. Why didn't he disengage? I don't know. He did finally now, but he might die here. We're going to spot him again. Not a problem. And then the repulse is spotted by us too. And we're slowly going towards uh, the Thailand battleship there and uh, Galant. The Galant can outgun us again, so we're going to be as careful as possible. They just stop. Yep, he's turning away. Now, I could fire and kill him and get a kill. Great. The whole point of these ships is the element of surprise. I can't surprise people if I'm telling them where I am. Now that he also smoked up, I'm actually going to leave this area. I'm not going to stick around for him. If he wants to come out, yeah, there you go. Okay. 
I'm gonna ask for help. Let's see, maybe, maybe, oh, nope, the game ends. And there you go. Your typical destroyer game. You want to stay dark. You want, like, look, no damage. No damage, right? But we won. And that's the whole point of this game. A nice win. We didn't get much done, but we spotted for our team. We camped. And uh, we maintained uh, a, a distance that's close enough to the enemy team to spot them, but far enough that we're not going to get outgunned. Um, we torped as much as we could. We didn't do the craziest amount of damage. I don't think we even hit one torp. But you don't even have to hit one torp. The whole point of torps are not only for damage, of course, and sinking ships, but it's also the fear factor. These battleships, they just see torps. They don't want to go forward, right? They don't want to get torped. And if their DDs aren't going to play properly, we're just going to maintain that distance, and then they're going to stay away from the caps. Hopefully, you have a team that can focus fire. Use your F3 buttons to ping. Use your F5 buttons to call for help. Hopefully, people understand what that is. And there you go. Your typical destroyer game at tier five where you're you're strictly a, a torp boat. You have your guns, you have your detection, it helps out. Even at tier seven, we ended up winning. We're not at the top five, and that's okay. I prefer to win. Everything else comes with time and practice. So have a good one, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the Minikaze game. It's still a, a decent ship. Um, and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye bye.